I like it. Who knows what we'll find here? It's like a scavenger hunt. I know, let's look. Who's gonna find the better stuff, me or you? Uh, me. No. These are boringly new. It's a cornucopia of vintage Ford. Ooh, Thunderbirds. Oh yeah, you like those T-Birds like that. These are good, but I, yeah. I sense there's better. Steve, are you down with the 66 and 7 first gen charger? Oh, I've shopped them until the prices went up and then I was out. They've skyrocketed now and I just, I can't have them. The interior is cool with the console and the rear buckets and the dash, but I'm just not down with the rest of the 66 car. 66 had a full length console that went right. all the way to the back, but then in 67, they got rid of it. That's 67. Ooh, Wayfarer. Okay, I love the fastback Wayfarer. Yeah, it's kind of like a bomb. It's not really my thing. No, it's great. It's a bomb. Look at the body shape know, on that thing. It's a bomb. It's pretty cool, but. You can only sing one song. I like trucks, <laughs> Jeeps, and muscle cars of all brands. That's more than one song. That's like the whole Led Zeppelin album collection. You know, you can take a four door like that right there. And, and turn it into a two door. And then make it into a uh, replica stock eliminator car. A lot of people don't realize that the Dart started out as a B body like this. Yeah. Before it became the subcompact, or the compact anyway. Yeah. Look at the Phillips 66 on the door of this Studebaker. Oh. That's cool. That's impressive. I thought you were gonna talk about that Studebaker behind it. That Studebaker is good too. That is the Raymond Lowy design right there. That's the Bonneville car you dream of. Yeah. Wow. That's Pretty cool. aerodynamic for its day. For its day, that was the kill. Yeah. Oh man, this Chevelle wagon is just like the one I grew up with. I remember going to the dealership with my dad and picking it up. Did you inherit uh, it later on and then derby it? No, my brother street raced it into the ground and the motor blew up and he got rid of it. Uh. Yeah, Oops. we had a 72. This is the 71 because it's got the split in the side marker and a little bit different grill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 71's better. Would you have it? Oh yeah, I'd have that. Would you help me fix it on Roadkill Garage? Bro. Would it be like this time on Roadkill Garage, Freiberger goes re back to his childhood. Relives his yeah. teenage years. That would be it. GM had it going on with badges back in the day. The mid-50s Buicks actually had the model gear on the badge, but the Oldsmobile right here has the map in the badge. But notice, it's only North and South America. It's a pretty sweet caddy. It is, actually. You can't go wrong at the price. You really can't. I know, that's, that's absolutely I only get stuff if it's a deal. Yeah. Done. Don't need that anymore. Right. <laughs> Maybe I should, oh, wait. Wagoneer. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> he said take the first road to the left and the old stuff's over there. Right here, I feel like I'm in a sea of toasters. I, I mean, know. Seriously. Yeah, don't care. Don't care, no. No, we're walking past a pile of appliances. I see the good stuff. Look at the styling on that Pontiac right there. Wow. Yeah. Look at that roof line. It just flows into that wing quarter panel. Yeah, it's like the bubble top era stuff. Yeah. GM just had it going on back then. Oh, yeah. They were the greatest in the world by far. Ooh, look at the Capri. The German-made Mercury Capri. That's the sign of the cat. The sign of the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way too hot, let's get out of here. I'm too hot too. Yeah. Let's get a move on. Yeah. TP Auto Wrecking was awesome, and you know what? You expect us to drag stuff out of the junkyard, but you're not gonna expect this. You know, when you think Steve Dulcich, you think style and class and refinement. The dash pad is flawless. It's a 64, right? Yeah, 64 DeVille. Here's all I care about. Is what? it going to make it to the Mopar yard down in Oregon? Oh, I 
drive this thing anywhere. No problem. Must. Okay. It's a Cadillac, dude. So the plan here is to leave the Wagoneer behind, let these guys store it for another seven or eight months, whatever it was last time. Yeah. And we're gonna take off in this because they probably don't want this in their yard. It takes up too much space. Yeah, it might be a little too fantastic oh, for our boys, you dude. know, to keep in their yard. You can be Nick Nolte, I'll be Eddie Murphy. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I had mentioned the Nick Nolte in 48 Hours, but this is really more Miami Vice. Oh, I agree. Yeah, like tubs. Oh. I'd better go into overdrive. Let's go! Wow, this is pretty swank. Now, I know we were saying that the Wagoneer rode and drove like a Cadillac. Ooh, now we can really put it to the back-to-back -back test. Well, that's the only reason I got this thing, okay. actually, yeah, because we did have the Wagoneer, and it, it drove in what our impression of a Cadillac ride would be like. Yeah. Is this our first time experiencing a Cadillac ride together? For me, I... Wow. I'm Every gonna... time we say rides like a Cadillac, we don't know what we're talking about. No, no, Dodge is as far as I got until now. Right. So, Steve, yeah. when I first realized that you had scored the DeVille, the immediate connotation was, of course, Elvis Presley. Right. The first song that went through my mind was Suspicious Minds, and I realized that would have been a complete anachronism for this 1964 model. And then I looked at our shirts, and I thought, oh, Blue Hawaii. And then I realized that that came out in 1961. So you know what I've actually landed on, which is era correct for 1964? I'm waiting. Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Yeah! Wow! <laughs> oh, this is excellent. I feel pretty happy in the caddy. I had no idea it was this good. Viva! 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 <laughs> I couldn't get that last high note. Oh, I couldn't no. hit that. I you nailed it. The plan today is to get to this junkyard that apparently is nothing but Mopars. Oh. It looks like it's a little better car-wise than the one we were at yesterday, and they're all lined up in perfect rows from the photos I saw. Mopars? Yeah. No Who Cadillacs? That? No, no Cadillacs, Cadillacs, no. Oh, oh well, let's go anyway, <laughs> Freiburger. Hey, David, guess how much oil pressure we have? Zero. <laughs> Good guess. Yeah. We drove 38 feet in the hotel parking lot, and uh, it's not going to survive. No. Well, we need to add more sauce. You got that in there? You're not using the squeeze the bottle technique, obviously. Oh, you're right. I wasn't. You ready? Did you... I ducked. <laughs> Did you that couldn't hit even you? get me if you tried. It was an overhand. Ah! <laughs> you pegged me right in the face. Whoa, that is clattering. Oil light's gone out, though. Man, listen to the clatter, though. Well, it's going to take a while to pump the lifters back up. There was zero oil in the motor. Give me the super snot. All right, I'm installing, like, the super snot, which might as well be, like, 100 weight oil, guaranteed to quiet the engine. If one is good, two is better. <laughs> you could play uh, volleyball with those things. Yeah. All right, we're gonna see if we can make it all the way to this like Mopar junkyard. Maybe we can trade it in. Mopar? Yeah. For if I can find a 60 Imperial convertible, this thing is gonzo. Let's go. Quiet as a mouse now. Screen feature built in. <laughs> wow, look at the Columbia River right there. I know, it's fantastic. No wonder it's a world famous river. 
Oh, look at that bridge. Wow, that's rad.